So it's only Thursday, still one more day until the weekend, but this has already turned out to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad week for anyone associated with C Street, the lavish 12 bedroom, nine bathroom townhouse in DC run by the secretive religious group known as The Family, which is home to a number of members of Congress. Today, the New York Times published new details about Senator John Ensign, a former C Street resident, and his allegedly trying to pay off his mistress by securing a job for her husband. Uh, th these details come from a federal criminal inquiry now that's underway into Mr. Ensign's actions. The latest twist involves Senator Ensign changing his earlier story about his involvement with a Nevada company that has been subpoenaed in his case. That, however, is not the only investigation problem that Mr. Ensign and his fellow C Streeters have on their hands right now. Now, you may recall that on Tuesday night on this program, we talked about a complaint filed with the IRS that members of Congress who lived at C Street may have committed tax violations if they didn't disclose that their rent was subsidized by the family while they lived at C Street. When we reported that on Tuesday, we told you this was a developing story. We were not kidding. Today came yet another call for an investigation into the allegedly subsidized rent at C Street. The ethics watchdog group Crew, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, Crew filed their own complaint with the Senate Ethics Committee and the Office of Congressional Ethics over whether this allegedly subsidized rent violated the gift rules that govern members of Congress. These congressmen were reportedly paying way below market value rent to live in pretty posh digs. Crew writes, quote, few Americans are lucky enough to have landlords who accept below market rent while also offering housekeeping and meal service. One cannot help but wonder exactly what the congressmen have done for C Street Center Inc. in return for this largesse. This, of course, is the reason for the congressional gift prohibition in the first place. Since our reporting of those allegations on Tuesday, we have been contacted by a Capitol Hill source who wanted us to identify him as a person close to C Street. This Capitol Hill source told us, quote, your reporting will have more credibility if you ask these questions of 535 members of Congress and remove the religious and political bias behind your inquiry. Appreciate the anonymous shot across the bow, brave, anonymous, Capitol Hill, C Street source. But the way this is heating up, you probably are going to want to have something better than that. The allegations against C Street residents are bipartisan. We have been asking the same questions to the Democrats and to the Republicans who lived there. There's not political bias here at all. And, and while there's no religious bias involved here either, this is to some extent a story about religion. It's about a secretive religious organization operating a boarding house for members of Congress, which it calls a church, and then using that fake church tax status to subsidize these congressmen's rent and keep it secret. If there are other members of Congress living in fake churches, receiving subsidized rent, we would love to know about them too. Really, we're all ears. But so far, it's all C Street. Earlier this week, we contacted every current member of Congress we know of who either lives at C Street now or has reported reportedly lived there in the past. Um, so far, only, only two of these members of Congress have gotten back to us, Congressman Mike Doyle and Senator Tom Coburn. And while the other members of Congress might want to ignore our questions about this, they should probably know that constituents in their own states and districts are starting to take notice. Here's just a sampling of headlines just from today. Brownback named in complaint about C Street House. Ethics complaint filed against C Street. Names demint. John Ensign faces ethics complaint over apartment rent rate. Or this one, ethics watchdog files complaint against Stupak. Oh, here's another. Watchdog group files complaint against WAP and Schuler over C Street rent. So these members of Congress can feel free, of course, to dodge our questions as long as they want to. But it may not be just us asking these questions for too much longer.